Hello from Texas. I'm going to read the Bible to you real quick. Okay, just a couple of chapters. Um, not chapters, ver uh, verses. Sorry, verses. Let's read 2 Timothy. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables unto fables but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry for i am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand i have fought a good fight i have finished my course I have kept the faith henceforth, henceforth, I love this verse, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. So that's why we're supposed to be watching and waiting for Jesus. Okay, if you, you'll get a crown for that if you do. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens, to Galatia, Titus, to Dalmatia. I'm sorry, I probably pronounced those wrong. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for, for the ministry. And Tychicus, 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 ah, I probably mispronounced this. Have I sent to Ephesus the cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus? When thou comest, bring with thee and the books, but especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom be thou were where also, for he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer, no man stood with me, but all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Now withstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Verse 18, And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever amen let me go here to uh, let's see hold on hold on mm -hmm. oh. I read that one before let's see okay here's Ephesians Ephesians, um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse, verse 18. 
praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints verse 24 grace be with all them that love our lord jesus christ in sincerity amen ha ha okay first corinthians i love first i love corinthians okay first corinthians chapter 2 verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God. Verse 9. But as it is written, I have, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, Yea, the deep things of God. See, we're not, we're living in the world, world, but we're not supposed to be of the world. Okay? I'll see you soon. September, remember, September's a big month. Big pro prophetic month. Peace of Trumpets is in September. United Nations is meeting about Israel and the division of Israel in September. See you in the sky.